Good evening. Today, we will be covering the post market update dated the 8th of November, 2023. In yet another volatile session, the Indian benchmark indices ended on a flat note on November 8 with the Sensex ending at 64,900 and 75.61, up 33.21 points or 0.05%, while Nifty gaining 36.80 points, or 0.19% to close at 19,443.50. Top gainers on the Nifty included BPCL, Ardani Ports, Sipla, Asian Paints and Titan Company, while losers were Isisai Bank, NTPC, Tech Mahindra, Infosys and Tata Consumer Products. Talking about the corporate segment, we have Shares of Avind Fashions gained 3.5% to hit a 52-week high of 383 rupees per share on November 8, after the company delivered strong July-September quarter performance. In the past three months, the stock of this fashion retailer has soared 14% against a 1% decline in the benchmark Sensex. The company's revenues rose 7% year-on-year to 1,267 rupees crore in quarter 2, financial year 2024 led by retail and multi-brand outlet. It also delivered the highest ever profit performance of 22 rupees crore in quarter 2 financial year 2024, up 19% year-on-year. Shares of Apollo Tires jumped nearly 6% on November 8 as the tire company reported over 164 percent surge in profit for the second quarter. Apollo Tires posted a consolidated profit of 474.3 rupees crore in the quarter ended September, a financial year 2024, marking a remarkable 164.4% increase from the last year. This impressive financial performance can be attributed to a decrease in the cost of the materials required for tire production. The company's revenue from its operations recorded a healthy growth of 5.4%, reaching 6,280 rupees crore over the year-ago period. The restaurant brand Asia stock lost more than 4% on November 8. After the company reported a net loss at 46 rupees crore for the July-September quarter of financial year 2024, on August 8 widening from a loss of 49 rupees crore posted in the corresponding quarter of the previous financial year. Total revenue of the company came at 624.9 rupees crore, rising 19.1% from 524.7 rupees crore in the year-ago quarter, the company said in a regulatory filing. The company's quarter 2 financial year 2024 SSSG was 3.5% led by traffic growth. Shares of Soba rallied over 4% on November 8. Soba's doubling of non-Bengaluru volumes is what has driven its record residential sales, according to Jefferies. Their latest report, after the listed Bengaluru-based real estate major released its September quarter earnings, stated that the pre-sales, gross, pre-declared, for the quarter of 1,720 rupees crore were a record. This sales figure grew by more than 18% quarter-on-quarter and by more than 48% year-on-year. Shares of Cummins India jumped nearly 4% in trade on November 8 as the diesel engine company manufacturer reported a 23% spike in quarter-2 net profits. Diesel and natural gas engine maker Cummins India Limited posted a 23% rise in its second quarter, consolidated profit after tax on November 7, supported by robust demand in domestic and international markets. HB Stockholdings Limited in daily time frame is trading around 67.10 points with a change of 19.93% and is trading with a net volume of around 782.772,000 shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 56.55, which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 78.18. Northeastern Carrying Corporation Limited in daily time frame is trading around 29.80 points with a change of 19.68% and is trading with a net volume of around 13.238 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 24.40 which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 75.16.
Infolion Research Services Limited in daily time frame is trading around 225 points with a change of 19.14% and is trading with a net volume of around 987.2 thousand shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 191.15, which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 74.73. For the stock recommendation we have, Isis Cipruli looks good and can be bought at 533, keeping a stop loss of 519 rupees and a target of 555. You can reach us via phone, WhatsApp, or email using the information listed on the screen. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more financial insights. And, as always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, leave them in the comments section below. Until next time, happy investing!